Kintor Pharmaceutical Limited, or Kintor Pharma, has developed a compound called GT229 for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia and acne. And in my opinion, this represents a significant advancement in addressing male pattern baldness as it is a step just before resorting to direct genetic engineering of organisms to tackle this issue. GT229 is a proteolysis targeting chimera, or PROTAC compound. Protex are protein degradation compound that can target and degrade disease causing proteins within cells. In this particular case, GT229 is the world's first Protac compound developed for topical use and it aims to degrade the androgen receptor or the AR protein. Now remember, it is dihydrotestosterone or more commonly referred to as DHT, the hormone that binds to the androgen receptor which causes for men with the genetics of androgenetic alopecia to have their scalp hair thin, miniaturize, and eventually, and unfortunately, stop growing and bald. GT-229 is essentially a nuke that would destroy and or potentially block the AR signaling pathway. The compound could also effectively inhibit sublacious gland development and sebum secretion, which is often an issue that many people with androgenetic alopecia talk about that oily scalp feeling and so-called DHT itchiness. Currently, at the time of making this video on July 15th, 2023, Kintor Pharma is moving on with GT229 to a phase 2 clinical study in China, and it looks like they're doing pretty well and that they're going to complete this phase 2 clinical study. And in the United States of America, it completed phase 1, and now Kintor is looking at phase 2. And just as a reminder, each phase of the clinical trial and or clinical study has a purpose. Phase 1 is a small-scale study with healthy volunteers to evaluate treatment safety, dosage, and potential side effects. Phase 2 is an expanded study with individuals who have specific conditions and assessing treatment efficacy and also refining dosage parameters. Phase 3 is a large-scale trial to gather comprehensive data on treatment effectiveness, monitor side effects, and compare with existing treatments and or placebo. And finally, phase four is the post-marketing surveillance to monitor long-term safety and effectiveness in real-world populations. And as soon as it gets to that point, GT229 will be on the market ready for use. Getting past phase one and phase two indicates that the treatment or intervention has shown promising safety and efficacy results in a controlled setting and is ready to progress to larger scale studies for further evaluation and comparison with existing treatments or placebos in phase three. So we may even see GT229 being compared to finasteride, dutasteride, and even perhaps topical versions of those drugs. This is a pretty exciting advancement. Now, you can't mention Kintor's GT-229 without also mentioning Kintor's pyrolidamide, which is a blocker of the androgen receptor. I already did a video on this, so you can go check it out in the description, but I can imagine both compounds being used in tandem to save people's hair. So, as these drugs progress through clinical trials, it gives a positive sign that we may only, one day, need to use these two treatments to effectively stop and even reverse androgenetic alopecia, and it's primarily due to how effective their mechanism of action is, at least so far as we've seen them to be. Because if they work completely as it is described in theory, those androgen receptors would be gone, and the hair follicle itself would be able to freely grow without any worry of DHT being in the scalp or just generally in that particular follicle area. Now, you may even still have to take something like finasteride or dutasteride just in case you can't get that even spread of this topical uh, GT-229 or pyrolidamide. It looks like GT-229 will be some sort of gel, as indicated by the FDA clinical trial website. But in any case, these are pretty effective treatments if they work completely as the mechanism of action suggests. So I want to say that currently, doing whatever you can to save your hair follicles is important and essential. When it comes to androgenetic alopecia, as the follicles shrink and miniaturize, it gets to a point where that the damage to the follicle itself cannot be reversed as there are structural changes to the hair that occurs as it detaches from the erector pili muscles and even some changes to the local stem cell production in that area. 
Medications like finasteride, minoxidil, topical antiandrogens, and topical prostaglandin analogs can slow down, halt, and sometimes reverse the miniaturization process of hair follicles. These treatments work best when started early before irreversible damage occurs to the follicles themselves. So it's all about how early you start your treatment, and that will indicate the sort of efficacy you'll get, the sort of outcome you'll get in your hair loss journey. You can think of this kind of like how people undergo cryonic preservation when they die and or are dying of diseases. Now, trust me, your circumstances of balding, no matter how distressing it may be, isn't as severe as someone who as a di- who's dying of diseases. These people normally have terminal illnesses when they undergo cryonic preservation. But the analogy is that as they are trying to buy time for their being until medical science can essentially bring them back good as new, we're actively we're doing the same thing. We're giving our hair follicles as much time as possible so that when effective treatments like GT-229 and pyrolidamide come out and they have better efficacy or safety and whatever, when they're proven, we can use that to save the hairs and prevent further damage. That's pretty exciting. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this video. So thanks for watching. And comment. What, what, what comment are we going to use today? Comment kiwi rice. That's a very random comment but it will be used to see if you guys actually got to the end of this video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, the Cosmo RNA videos, I encourage you guys to go check it out because there, there's been a lot of controversy about um, that particular kind of drug. It uses uh, siRNA or a variant of siRNA to try to block androgen receptors. Similar to how other topical antiandrogens work, but it seems as if Cosmo RNA Bioneer's product, Cosmo RNA, doesn't seem to be effective. So I encourage you guys to go check that out. Again, everything in the description, as well as the Discord server itself. And yeah, rice, what was it? Kiwi rice? Whatever. Thanks for watching. We're back with it, large, here in Jersey City. Whatever this McDonald's is. It's fucking hot as hell, bro. Just got off of work early because I wanted to get off of work early. And yeah, we're gonna try this thing out. Yeah, so it's uh It's pretty good. It has like a little bit of um like a berry taste to it, like a raspberry, strawberry, orangey kind of taste. So it's not that bad. It's pretty good. But yeah.